Okay, so I just looked back at this video and the majority of it is out of focus. Um, this was supposed to be like a deep, sentimental, me trying to inspire people who are different type video and it's out of focus. The fuck? Why do I even do this shit? Anyway, listen, if you still care about the message and care about me, <laughs> which I'm sure you do, I hope you guys enjoy this and get a message from it. And if you don't, cool. And there will be a happier video next time. All right, um, enjoy the video, kids. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your boy Christian. What's up? Um, this video is gonna be short. I mean, I always say that, and it's never short because I end up rambling because of like I just <laughs> I just love to talk people's fucking ears off. It really is going to be because I just um. <laughs> Uh, you know, for once, I didn't smoke before this video. Not because I was nervous or or because I didn't want to be high. Because, like, as my viewers should know at this point, I always want to be high. Uh, I don't know. Um, I just want to talk, I guess, and say that I'm really sick of, like, <laughs> how the world is. And I know that that's just, like, a broad statement. And, like, you know, you could go so many directions with that. But what I'm referring to is the judging area. Especially this country and just the climate of the world right now people are judged like literally more and more and also because of social fucking media which plays a big part in the um judging of people although it has its great qualities it does have some issues Ugh. I hate when I don't know what to say because like this is coming from a personal standpoint but like I don't want to make it about me all my life I have been judged all of my life for several different things and I'm not gonna get too deep into that because with what's been going on lately it's kind of like a touchy subject but just to say the least I've been judged and talked about all of my life and when I say all of my life I mean since elementary school it's been my norm for whatever reason I've been deemed too weird or I don't think like other people or I don't enjoy the same things as other people I'm not relatable or I'm something that I'm not or you know I'm something that you think I am forever it's been my life of being judged because of how I talk how I walk how I express myself the shit that I'm into the shit that I love to do the things and the people that I love to watch and it's just <sighs> I'm not trying to make it about me, but it's surrounding me because of this process that I've been going through as far as me um, being alone. And honestly, I've already talked about it in several other videos. I'm not sure which ones at this point because I feel like I talk about so much in every <laughs> damn video, but I'm going through a journey right now of being by myself, realizing who I am and realizing who I want to be and who I want to surround myself around and seeing things for what they are and seeing people for who they are. So far, God and my guardian angels have been on my side things are coming to light a lot of things have been coming to light for me in my life and a lot of people are showing their true colors which they don't know that they're showing their true fucking colors but god is showing me their true colors to make a long story short just i now know how certain people truly feel about me well to be honest i've known all along but certain things have come to light and with all this new shit coming to light it's bringing emotion that to me um of like when i was in school and i always knew that i was being talked about or judged it goes back to that feeling in school when i would befriend somebody and then literally days later or maybe even a week later you know find something out that they said or asked about me or you know something that they they were trying to do to me with the recent events in my life and i know that this sounds so vague and like i know that it's probably not going to make sense to no fucking person watching this but Lately, I'm being judged a lot. The same way I was judged in school. Because of where I am in life, because of who I choose to be around and who I don't choose to be around. Just for some reason, lately, oh my god, this is not making any sense. This is not making any sense. Um. Oh my god, where is the fucking ganja when you need it? On second thought, I should have smoked. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, um, 
I nag. <sighs> Let's go back to where I first started. Back to the world being a very judgmental place. How this relates to me, and this may be me repeating myself, but I'm just trying to make sense of it so people watching can make sense of it. I was judged all through school, and lately, since I've been by myself, um, there's been a lot of judgment thrown towards my way, and a lot of things have been coming to light. So, with me turning on this camera, I just want to say how sick and tired of the world I am, people, people that I'm close to, or were close to, and just every single last ounce of judgment that I've gotten throughout my whole life whether it's my sexual preference whether it's my financial status whether it's the type of fucking career I want to go into the fucking clothes that I choose to put on my body the fucking bright hoodies that I choose to wear even to the littlest shit I'm sick and tired and just thinking about it you know now that I'm finding some new things out thinking back when I was getting judged constantly in school it's just it's just, why the fuck do people care? And I'm not about to cry, okay? I'm not about to be on this boohoo shit, okay? Because I'm about to get this shit on and then eat my fucking rap, go upstairs, get high, and fucking edit this shit mad as hell. <laughs> but I'm not about to sit here and boohoo because I've already had those days. I'm just sick of me being judged and me seeing other people getting judged. And how I know that my guardian angels are fucking watching over me and, you know, talking to me and just, they know what's the deal. It's because lately, also, just a lot of videos have been popping up just of transgender people and them talking on how they've been judged gay people talking about how they've been judged and how black people are now more than ever speaking on the stuff against them and how people who choose to praise a different god or whatever their judgment these videos of people expressing how through life because they're different than you know the average population have been judged it's just like a Okay, <laughs> I need to speak on this because clearly something's being said to me and it's that we are in a country and in a community and just in a fucking world of fucking nitwits. If you're concerned with the sexual preference of another man or woman, what does that tell you about your fucking life? If you're concerned on what Sue, Harry, Daquan, and Shalanda do with their dick or their penis, what does that say about your life? If you're concerned about what one person's skin color is versus yours the fuck does that say about your life Shirley if you're concerned about the religion the fucking religion that somebody chooses to fucking come home to and pray in their own confines in their own walls of their own home what does that say about you and I'm just spitting that shit out to say the fuck has this world come to and yes this world was always a judgmental ball of shit it always was but now that I'm going through the spiritual journey like I said looking back it is really fucking me up and then the shit I'm dealing with and hearing about now is really fucking me up because why do you and I've already made a video two videos I think about this or maybe several I don't know do you not realize that one most of the time when you're talking about somebody people know that you're talking about them it doesn't take long to get back to them unless you have some fucking secret service ass friend group because I know every time I was talked about I knew and maybe that's just the Sagittarius Scorpio side of me to where I'm very intuitive I'm very psychic like, I can pick up on when, you know, the energy shifts around me. And I know. So nobody's fucking low. Even if you're fucking low as hell, you're fucking Kim Possible, the Pink Panther, rolling around, dodging laser beams, you're the sleuthiest sleuth in this bitch. Shit still comes to the light. That is what the fuck karma is. And with this recent line of events that have been happening to me in my life, some shit that honestly would have never came to the light if it wasn't for karma, and this is how I know that it's karma, because it would have never, ever reached the surface and even came across my eyes if it wasn't for the grace of God. This was some private shit that fell onto my lap. But that being said, how sick has this world gotten? It doesn't matter if they're your family. <laughs> It doesn't matter if they're your fucking friends. It doesn't matter if they're just your acquaintance or your coworker. Why do you really care about what another human being or what another life form chooses to do behind their doors, behind their walls, in their own head? Whatever and so have you. And even for the people who don't give a fuck. Even if you don't stick up for somebody who is being judged for something, you are still as shitty as the person that's judging them. Do you not realize that, huh? Huh, sis? And I know people can relate to me. I speak real shit. I do. 
And I'm just over it. Because all my life, I've been judged for several things. People only befriended me. People only fucking... <laughs> people were only my friends. Friend, just to get an answer of a lifelong question of a lifelong voyage that they had and that might not make any sense to you but by that I mean people only befriended me to try to figure something out about me and if you're smart you can put two and two together but I don't want to sit here and go into detail because it's still uh, there's some fresh shit in my mind right now that is just oh my god you can kind of paint the picture of why people were becoming friends with me and what they were trying to figure out amongst a lot of other things it hurts. It really hurts because beyond anything else, I've been a good friend. Beyond anything else, I've been very giving, very nice, threw shit on the people's laps, threw money, food, a fucking place to stay, my dude. And all they wanted to do was figure out a rumor about me to see if it was true or not all they wanted to do was use me and not even just to get an answer but just for several other things but like i said i've already talked about this so i don't want to go into circles i'm sick of it i'm over it i'm over seeing people cry on fucking youtube because they can't be themselves i'm over seeing people <laughs> hate who they were born as hate who they grew up as, hate who they can't change because of people who are so curious about their fucking lives, but yet at the same time their lives are crumbling, miserable, they're broke. They don't even know who the fuck they want to be or who the fuck they want to love, but yet they're judging who somebody else wants to love, but they're confused their own damn selves about their career, about their life, about all this shit, and yet you want to know about what somebody else is doing. You're prying into other people's lives for what? And this goes for anybody, a peasant on the street or the fucking president of the United fucking States, who was one of the most judgmental assholes out here. So, you see how this country runs, you see how people maneuver, why is there no change? You're hurting people's feelings, you're making them even more confused, you're making them fucking hate themselves. Cause it's taking me a while to not hate myself, and even now I still have some hate for myself, because of the, the shit I've been through. Because of other people's instant fucking purities. Can I get an amen, bitch? The fuck? Leave people alone. Anyway, I just want to say and be clear, I stand with the misfits of the world. I stand with the people who are different. I stand with the people who have been ridiculed, judged, and bullied their whole life for their choices <laughs> or for who they can't change. I stand with every last motherfucker that goes through that shit because I get it. It hurts when it's people that you're close to. And honestly, I've gotten over the hurt. The hurt doesn't phase me anymore. I'm stone faced, I'm cold right now. But it's just, the hurt is real. The hate for yourself is real. And for the people who do that to other people, and I'm talking to you, if maybe before you say something to somebody or say something about somebody, step back and think, what is this person going through in their life? What trials and tribulations have this person maybe had to go through because of what you are thinking about them? Because it may be true. A rumor may be true so before you spread it think about what has this person have gone through because of this rumor whether it's their weight whether it's how dark their skin is or maybe they have a baby think about it because i sure as hell did it when i was younger i didn't give a flying fuck if i didn't like you i just didn't like you and i was going to talk about you regardless i turned into that person because of how i was judged leading up to that point and even when i started to judge other people i was still the main one being judged behind all that. So what does that tell you? And I'm still going through that because of what people think is wrong or right, you know, because of how they feel. But how I feel isn't how they feel. I don't care if you're my blood. I don't care if you're my family. I don't fucking, I don't, I don't, I don't care who you are. My life is not your life. And this goes for adults because there's a lot of old ass fucking adults, creepy ass adults that give a fuck about what a child does or give a fuck about what somebody younger than them does. And there's a lot of teens and kids that are causing a lot of heartache, a lot of pain for other people who are different because of their insecurity. Because they just want to gossip because that's the trend for younger people. And because older people don't get it, they just want to fucking talk about you. And I'm not talking to my viewers that are woke. Once again, if your third eye is open, I'm not talking to you. You can sit back, smoke a blunt, and just watch me rant to all these dumb fucks. So like I said, I stand tall with people who have gone through the bullying and the hurt and the judging and are still going through it. Because to everybody else in this world, I'm a fucking weird ass, introverted ass, confused ass, nerdy ass kid. But if only they really got to know me. And 
nobody knows me but me. Well, and my mom and my sister, but, you know, I'm trying to be deep here. Nobody knows the real me, and they'll never know, because at this point, I'm good with being alone. From family, from friends, from everybody, because I'm waiting to meet new people, I'm waiting for new people to come into my life, and I'm waiting to grow so I can be the best, best version of me. And that's what I want to put into everybody watching. Just keep growing to be the best version of you. Fuck what anybody says, and I will make a hundred videos saying the same shit because this needs to be said. Fuck what anybody says. You're beautiful in your own way. You're smart in your own way. You're you in your own way. Period. And now I'm about to smoke a fucking fat ass backwood <laughs> and enjoy the rest of my day. So I love you guys. I love my viewers. I love my fucking weirdos and my aliens and my glitches. I should start to use that. My fucking glitches because I'm a fucking glitch and I'm a misfit and I'm a fuck up and I'm all that. So shout out to all the weirdos in the world and I stand with you and to everybody who doesn't understand us or get us or wants to talk about us fuck you sit on it and rotate okay because at the end of the day the weirdos we're starting to run the world the people that you judge and don't understand 2019 bitch we're starting to run the fucking world watch out all right guys I'll see you in the next vlogger video and this next video will be a lot happier I might even smoke in it you know I I don't know, but I'll do something a lot more happier and giddier and jazzy <laughs> next time. But I just had to get this across because, like I said, we live in a world of fucking nitwits and nosy ass fucking people. All right, I will see you guys in the next vlog or video, whatever the fuck. Be real, be trill, stay high, bye bye and um, stay you and love yourself, period. <laughs> All right, bye guys. I'm serious. Love your fucking self and fuck the rest. Bye guys. Oh, and there's one quote that I want to leave you guys with. It's not what people call you, it's what you answer to. It's not what people call you, it's what you answer to. Have a great day, kids. Adios.